It's an impressive lineup, 30 Hamilton jets, many of them classics in their own right. And even one model that's very much a one-off. Bloody near perfect. The occasion was to honour one of Hamilton's long-term employees. I just want to acknowledge some of these jet boating pioneers that we've got here today. So we've got Alf Dick here. Dick was a farmhand south of Tekapo when his boss, Bill Hamilton, began developing the jet water pump in the 1950s. He famously suggested that spray from the back end of the jet should be ejected above the water, not below it. It was an idea that would change everything. During a classic boat day organised by the Canterbury branch of Jet Boating NZ, a seat bearing his name was unveiled. It says on here, Alf Dick, in recognition of his pioneering and lifetime contribution to jet boating. And then it was transported up the river to a jet boater's hut he and others built and stayed in many times. It was beautiful, you know, you'd be lying in bed having a beer or a drink and the, the geese would float down the river. A group of us came up here in 1960 and built this hut and it's still here, I'll be pleased to see it. Now Dick has terminal cancer, he didn't make the trek up to the hut but being on a jet boat is no hardship. Once the seat was installed and admired, the return journey was underway. For Dick, it was a day crammed full of nostalgia and camaraderie. See ya. Thanks, folks. David DeSoma, 3 News.